everyone, it's been a while. Oh it's God. time to introduce you our new family member, Maga. A 13 years old dachshund that we fostered from Mastao. Like most of old ladies, she sure has a lot of personality, but she is also very lovable. The only weakness she has is food. Any food-related activities will get her full attention. We feed her twice a day, and since she's quite old, so we need to give her some extra protein. Besides food, most of the time she will be asking for patty. She loves when we pat her cheeks and her ass. Her face and front legs turn to white because of age. We prepare a sofa slot for her to protect her joints and spine, which are very easy to injure for them. But the funny part is, it's always so difficult for her to get on the last step. Two walks a day, but sometimes can be quite difficult to catch her. And sometimes, not so much. They say she have a nickname called the moving vacuum. What's in your mouth, Maga? She uses her puppy eyes asking for food. If you ignore her, she will make sure you can hear her. We are so happy to have her in our life, especially when this war going on in Ukraine and plus the COVID lockdown here. Every day her company brings us more joy and love and also some noise. Maybe you also can consider foster a dog from local shelter. Usually they are in smaller space and can't go out to walk often. Fostering can help releasing the pressure from shelter and also can see if you and the dog are getting along with each other. Sometimes it will take a while, but if you and the dog can overcome the problems, then you can officially adopt the dog and register under your name. Next, we are going to tell you how we met Maga and the problems we had. It's so bad that we almost gave up. The first time we met Maga was in the last December. It was the fundraising event for Mazda. We were friends of Mazda since 2020, and we took their dogs to walk a few times. But that day was our first walk with Maga. She was very easygoing, and we finished the challenge together. We also took some cute photo with her. After a few weeks, we want to walk with Maga again, because we keep thinking about her. This time, also with another lovely dog, Momo. You remember me? <laughs> Momo. Momo, too excited. Maga. 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 They will prepare some water and plastic bag so you can take the dogs for a walk. It's also good for them, so they don't need to stay in the shelter all the time. You like to run? This belly! So after one month of thinking, we finally decide what you are going to do? Foster dog from my shelter. And I miss mother. She's 13 years old. Auntie mother. <laughs> so exciting! Hello, Hello Maga. Maga. You're family. <laughs> you are staying with us. Yeah. 
Maga, it's your home. Maga, look. Maga. Okay, wait. Maga. 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 Uh, now we're going to put her bed here in the center of the living room and her board here. Yeah, like this pool with her. Can you play? <laughs> Maga. Match. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> it's too small, I'm not afraid. She's teaching me how to play this game. But <laughs> it looks too small. Okay, you need this uh, bigger one for her. to look at with the puppy eye. Six hours of work. Come back to see how it's Vaga. Maga, oh, at her bed. Nice. And pee on the on this Maga. You're doing so good job. Maga, we are back. Uh huh. <laughs> two times. Maga, good job. Wait, wait. Maga behaves good even in her shower time. But the real big problem just about to start. From the second night, she starts to bark when we go to work, like six hours non-stop. Doctors say it could be the separation anxiety. We tried some pheromones like Adaptil and ultrasonic anti-barking device, but all of them failed. We can only take turns stay at home with her, but after three weeks of barking, we got complaints from our neighbors. We had a busy weekend on that time, so we asked to send her back to shelter for a few days. The good news is, after the second time she came back with us, she can sleep one to two hours after we left, 
and not barking anymore. Although she's still barking for attention and whining for food, but it's so much acceptable now. It took around two months for Maga and us to get used to each other and the new lifestyle, but we are so happy that we didn't give up on each other. Life with Maga definitely is better, full of lovely moments and laughter. If you consider to have a pet, go contact your local shelter to meet these furry animals. And remember, it will take a while for you and the pet to get used to each other. Don't give up too soon, and you might have your best buddy waiting for you. Maybe we can adopt a dog. Yeah, yeah, adopt. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching. Bye bye. Bye bye.